The following video is edited together from the Asbury Park Zombie Walk and Undead Festival filmed by the Brookdale Television and Film Club. These tapes were lost and now found in order to make them into a news segment for the Brookdale Television Station. Please enjoy. The Brookdale Television and Video Club took a trip down to Asbury Park to partake in the festivities happening in Convention Hall. These festivities were not just any regular festivities. <laughs> they were for zombies. <laughs> Let's go inside and take a look, shall we? The convention hall and the boardwalk hosted to a three-day event for zombies. While the convention hall served as a horror con festival, the boardwalk served as a playground for those who came dressed up for the occasion. We had a chance to sit down with the mayor of Asbury Park and we were able to learn more about the event. Uh, I know the first year it was very popular. Uh, last year they actually achieved the Guinness uh, uh, Book of World Records with, uh, I believe it was over 48, 4,900 uh, uh, zombies all gathered in one place. And then this year we're looking uh, at probably 10,000 zombies uh, over this next weekend. The mayor also mentioned other events happening around the zombie festival. This year for the first year, the mayor's ball, the Saturday uh, after Labor Day, September 10th, we actually had the New Jersey Zombie Walk uh, dancers join us and they performed the uh, thriller dance uh, for the mayor's ball. The mayor gave great credit to the founder of the event, Jason Meehan. He is the, uh, the founder of the New Jersey uh, Zombie Walk, and it was really his brainchild to bring it to Asbury Park, to host it here, to grow it here, and he really has worked very hard. He's dedicated, and uh, he's got a vision and enthusiasm uh, that really serves the walk and Asbury Park. We also had an opportunity to talk to Jason about the history of the Zombie Walk. The Zombie Walk here in Asbury got started four years ago. Um, my friends and I just wanted to be a part of a Zombie Walk and there wasn't one in New Jersey yet back then, so uh, we just decided to start coordinating it. Uh, we started with some stickers and posters and we were just putting them out at coffee shops and bars and record shops and uh, before we knew it we had our first event bring out over 500 people and uh, year after year it's grown exponentially. We've had like a zombie viral outbreak explosion the second year that we did it, we had 1,500 people. Last year, we broke the Guinness World Record with uh, 4,100 zombies. So this year, it's going to be really exciting. We don't know how many are going to show up. <laughs> Jason also described to us what specifically was going on in Convention Hall that weekend. Well, we've got the Undead Festival. It's actually all of Convention Hall. We've got 75 different vendors. We've got 30 different celebrities, people from uh, shows like The Walking Dead and movies like Night of the Living Dead. They're here meeting fans and signing autographs. Uh, all the different vendors are selling artwork, toys, uh, comic books, DVDs, you name it. Thousands of people came dressed up with many different horror-themed costumes and showed great enthusiasm for the character they portrayed. We had an opportunity to talk to the participants of the zombie walk and find out where they were from, why they enjoyed this great event, and ask them a couple silly questions. Long Beach Island, New Jersey. Asbury Park. Philadelphia. I'm from Long Branch. Shrewsbury. From Barnegat, just a little bit south of here. I'm from Brick. I'm from Madawan, New Jersey. How are you guys enjoying the festival so far? Oh, we love it. I come every year. It's the best. Yeah, there's a lot more this year and it's really awesome. It's a lot of fun. There's nothing better than being a bunch of zombies and walking around. How does it feel to be uh, undead today? Feels pretty good. Well, it's not a lonely feeling, definitely. <laughs> a bit fleshless. <laughs> Awkward question. <laughs> if you guys uh, like saw some zombies coming your way, uh, what kind of weapons would you have? <laughs> Katana. Uh, yeah, probably something the same, big sword of some kind. Nothing to reload. <laughs> Nothing to reload. I would use a crowbar. Oh, we're going to have to go with an AK here. A shotgun. I'm going to have to go with chainsaw. Not a, I'm not a zombie aficionado, but uh, uh, probably a shovel. Um, a bow and arrow? Something big and heavy is good for getting to the brain. I mean, I'd have to go with a tank. You have to be in a tank, because then you're, you're safe. A severed zombie head. Who would you call if you saw a zombie? It's like Ghostbusters, my man. 
Ghostbusters? Yeah, same answer. I'm gonna have to go with Ghostbusters here. The Ghostbusters. <laughs> Not the zombie Ghostbuster I saw walking around. I think he's up playing for the other team now. 911? I, I would have probably have to say uh, uh, police chief. <laughs> you. You would protect me, wouldn't you? Oh, uh, you know I would protect you. <laughs> probably my friend Pat. He just joined Special Ops. I feel like he'd be good. No one I'd head home and chop up the stairs, fill up the bathtub, and wait it out. <laughs> Who would I call? Chuck Norris. He's going to take care of everything. Sure, she's already undead. <laughs> All of a sudden, it happened. The zombies were loose in the boardwalk, and no one, I mean no one, was safe on this outbreak, not even the Brookdale Television Club. The zombies nearly got me, and I bolted towards the streets. Zombies are coming! Ah! Ah! Unfortunately, the others weren't spared from the zombies. One by one, every crew member fell hunger to the zombie herd. Let's get inside here. Even the streets of Asbury Park were unsafe. <laughs> Happy holidays. Woo! Oh.